had to sit there and almost chuckle because I already knew that tonight I was going to talk about eagles and chickens. <laughs> and so God has uh, an amazing plan. I mean, how, you know, how in the world could two speakers from two different parts of the world that have never talked about what they're going to preach come up with two messages like that? When the opening is made in the service to bring forth your message in tongues, stand up and speak distinctly. Really? The writer of this book is a woman. Didn't you read in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, the entire chapter dealing with tongues, in verse 34, let your women keep silence, the churches? What does this young lady mean, saying, when the opening is made in the service, stand up? So the people in the congregation can hear your voice, page 138. You better hadn't you, blasting, disobedient rebel. God told you to shut your mouth and sit down. First Corinthians 14, 34. Now this brings again the problem up we mentioned earlier. The basic problem of the charismatic is infidelity. As an apostate, demon possessed, rejected the truth, he will not accept the truth for the truth speaks contrary to his personal feelings about the matter. Therefore, this woman who writes this book tells anybody who has the gift or feels like to stand up when their time comes and talk. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost who wrote the book, the Holy Ghost who inspired the authors, the Holy Ghost who baptized Paul in the body of Christ, the Holy Ghost who filled him with the Holy Ghost and led his pen, said, Shut up. 